Now, uh, Tony Windsor tried very hard to ruin uh, um, uh, Tony <laughs> Abbott's celebration of the two-year anniversary. He, he referred him to... Uh, well, he insists that Tony Abbott begged him for the job of Prime Minister. Here he is. You would well remember, and your colleagues should be aware, that the only codicil that you put on that was, I will do anything, Tony, to get this job. The only the thing I wouldn't do is sell my arse. The member for New England will resume his seat. You're an absolute disgrace in the way in which you're wandering around on this particular issue. There are lots of things that I would never do to get the top the job. And one thing I would never do is bre break a, pr a the clear pre-election promise. The Leader of the Opposition has shown where he has been misrepresented. Turning That's, the cheek. Now, I don't know whether Windsor you caught Andrew Mears' photograph um, that, that um, was taken very shortly after that, and, mm. and he's pointing to his <coughs> mobile phone there. I, I guess he's implying there that if, if Tony Abbott at some point left a, a voice message on the phone, I've still got it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is all fairly threatening. <laughs> Um, and in fact, just on that, Richard Willingham, my colleague at The Age, had a story on, online on the National Times on Friday where he rung up Tony Windsor and said, kind of, what did you mean by that? Right. Uh, and Tony Windsor had said, oh, look, I'm not going there. But then under specific questioning, it sort of said, I'm not ruling out kind of if there were any voicemail messages, the message. release of them or whatever. Right. So um, uh, the implication being that this story might still have some ways to go, perhaps. <laughs>